Hey team family, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Tierra and her she eats good. How are you guys doing today? Happy Friday, okay? Yes y'all, it is Friday. I'm so excited about it because I get excited about thinking about sleeping in. So yes. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I really hope that you guys are doing well, y'all. I'm coming at you guys with a everything burger mukbang. Okay, I have everything on these burgers. Like I have jalapenos, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, pickles, cheese, pepper jack cheese, mustard cheese, green peppers. I have an egg. Y'all, let me just, because, okay, it doesn't do anything if I don't really show y'all, okay? So, this is what I have going on in this burger. This is a plant-based burger, y'all know. And I was trying to do the whole egg where the yolk busts, but I don't, I think I might have cooked it just a tad too long. And I got some lemon pepper ranch fries right here, y'all. I just tossed some french fries and lemon pepper and some ranch seasoning. And I have a dip for my fries here. I'm excited to dive in, but before we dive into this food, y'all, I want you guys to go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, and make sure your bell is turned on so whenever I drop a new video, you will know. And also, before we get into this video, how are you guys feeling on this Friday? How is that mind? How is that heart? How's your soul? You ready to relax this weekend? Huh? How your body feeling? Good? I hope, I really do hope that all is well, y'all. I'm ready to listen, because I was going to do burgers yesterday. But I decided to do Dungeness Crab. So I've been thinking about these burgers. Okay. And these are my fries. These are the old, um, the old Rider Chris, or, or Rider, or Ida. Or Rider, or Ida. Them fries, the crispy ones. And I tossed them in lemon pepper and. Right. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Y'all know how it is when the food tastes good to you. Mm. And this dip is just some um, sour cream, chipotle ranch, and regular ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, these fries are really good. And I didn't realize, I thought it was going to be regular crinkle cut fries. Y'all didn't know they going to look like they were breaded. But they, they, they really good. Crunchy and delicious. Okay? Mmm. So, you guys. Hold on. Let me take a bite. Let me take a bite. Hold on. Mmm. Okay. That's a look. I mean. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. Mm, 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 mm. That is. That is insane. How good this burger is, y'all. Mm. Mm. There's a little yolk in there. You see that? I thought I was thick. <laughs> Y'all. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. Oh my god. The next time y'all make a burger, right? <clears throat> Add everything that you want on it. It's gonna be worth it. Add everything that you like on that burger. That is so good. Mmm. Also, I'm going to insert a picture of the burgers I use because some people have been asking me, like, what type of plant-based meat do I use? So, for the burgers, I'll show you the picture that I use because these ones don't have soy in them. <clears throat> so, and they are so good. Um, 
But, so, got my water. Mm. Y'all don't even be introducing my water no more. I be getting so excited to eat. But, I was going to say, you guys, I wanted to start Fun Friday. So, like, on Friday, we can, um, you guys can pick, like, a game or something you want me to do. Maybe, like, a Never Have I Ever thing. And if that's the case, I want you guys to drop, like, some Never Have I Ever stuff or, like, um... Would you rather questions? Because I want to start doing like something on Friday where, you know, it's the end of the week. I'm about to celebrate, I mean, start the weekend and stuff like that. So I want to end the mukbangs on a fun note. So actually, I want you guys to let me know what you think about that idea. Comment, let me know what you think about that idea. And then if you are with that idea, drop me some either Never Have I Evers or um would you rather and it would be good if it would it could be like a good amount so i'll have a good amount of you know of time to do it and if it's a lot then i have you know enough video like i can keep doing it in other videos mm. to get a baby on. This is terrible. Like, the burger juices though, like really, right on my shirt. I need a whole bib, like, to put it right up underneath the head so it catch everything. You know what I'm saying? That's what I need to do. <clears throat> this is so good. Mm. But yes, you guys, fun Fridays. I've been thinking about that because you just ready to unwind. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can have a glass of wine on Friday sometimes. Like, fun Fridays is fun. Just, um, you know, fun around the board. Like, the things you like to do when you start your weekend or whatever. Y'all can even drop some ideas. All that. Actually, it would be good if you guys do drop ideas so that way I know the things that you guys will be looking forward to doing. For our fun Fridays. Y'all we hit 3K. So excited about that. Thank y'all so much. Like. <clears throat> when I first really started. When I actually first month started my YouTube channel. I didn't take it so serious. You know what I'm saying? I think my very first video was just like me recording my kids or something. And. Then after that, I didn't post for a while. And I might post like little snippets of food here and there. But I didn't take it serious. But now it's like yeah. I'm trying to attain a goal with this platform. So I've been, noted, you know, just being consistent and stuff like that has really been uh, progressing the channel. So I'm just really excited about that. And, you know, excited for things to come and, you know, the networking and all of that. So but thank y'all so much. Because without y'all, there is no me. <laughs> no, but I love you guys so much. I really, really do. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, this messy, but it's so good. So, the last video when I asked, did y'all guys notice anything new about me? One person commented correctly. But yes, y'all. I got my noses, my nostrils pierced, both of them. 
Um, I've been actually on a nose pier or nose ring for like a really long time. So I just decided like I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. And <clears throat> I really want to have one with the hoop and one with the stud. So once I can change my rings out, then you'll see the hoop and the stud. But y'all, since I've been, you know, my nose piercing and my little scarves and stuff, I've just been like, I don't know. I've just been on a whole different little wave. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like it though. Mm-mm. 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 Not the burger trying to escape. Mmm, the jalapeno. Mmm. Mmm. That's a whole deconstructed burger. Mmm. Yo. You don't have to be that greedy to take them big bites like that. I did. It was good. <laughs> it was so good. But what do you guys think? You like it? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. If you like my new piercings. I am a um one of those people that love piercings and tattoos. So I think the next thing I'm gonna probably get are some more tattoos. Like I see I have a few. But I have some more like on my back and stuff. I think the only area I don't really have tatted right now is I mean besides like Nope, I was about to say my, my front, but I have something here. And I have something on my back. It's like my legs, really. Because I got something from behind my ear down my neck. So, yeah, I think my legs. I think I'm, but I just gotta figure out what I want. Um, I like for my tattoos to be something that I know is gonna be on, body for, on my body for the rest of my life. Uh, I wouldn't want to get something that I want to remove or, but you know, I know I have like the, my first tattoo, what people call the tramp stamp <laughs> on my lower back. And the only reason why I want to get that covered up is, be, and it's not like covered. It can be redone. I actually just wanted to be redone, to be honest with you. Like, I feel like the, um, the detail, I don't even remember where I went. But I feel like the detail and then over time, it's like fading and, you know, so I, I just want to either get it done over, but like a revamped way. You know what I'm saying? Like the same concept, but totally revamped. Um, I got some stuff on my arm that I want to get color added to, so we going to see. Maybe I will vlog that. Would you guys like to come with me when I go get tatted? That would be a cool vlog. What y'all think? What y'all think? So what did y'all plan for this weekend? I need to know all the tea. Me? Um, nothing really. My younger son. His birthday is on the 19th. So, of course, I'm going to be reminded every day up until that day. So, I may do a, a birthday video with him for his birthday. And, I don't know. We're going to see. But, I'm going to be chilling this weekend, y'all. All right. Let me. The last one I didn't do. Let me see. Because that one has some stuff. And let me see if I push it. If the thing will pop and squeeze down. Ain't do it, <laughs> y'all. And it's funny. This one probably the one that's really like cooked all the way through. Y'all don't mind me, y'all. Y'all know I be silly sometimes. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Y'all see that cheese? The melted all down that burger. 
Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And at first I was like, maybe I should do like three, four burgers. Like, no, <laughs> not even. <laughs> Let me just stack these two, okay? Y'all, I'm telling you some good stuff. Whatever you want to put in your burger, put all that stuff on there. It's going to taste so good. Like, mm-hmm. Everything just comes together so well. I like that. And I have, ew. Every time when I watch Big Mac videos, I always think about, like, I need to get one of those ranch shakers. Like, how he be having. Yo. I could not find one. I got the little ranch seasoning pack. I was like, maybe. I gotta go back to Walmart when they, like, re-up on certain things. Because, have y'all been noticing, like, how the grocery stores been looking skimpy in certain places? And then, oh, wait a minute. First of all, so I went to Giant today, y'all. Y'all know be having a little bit of drama every day. It's just a little bit. <laughs> Honey, they just took all the plastic bags away. Like, you can't get no plastic bags. And then they want you to pay five cents for these little paper bags without handles. Okay? And they gave you a free little, like, reusable bag that's small. That's smaller than the brown bag, right? But I managed to get two. She was like, you only can get one. But I had to come back. But I had to went to the store to get the stuff for my burgers. So I had got everything. And then I forgot something. So I had to come back. And I went through the, the self-checkout line. So the little lady was like, oh, you want a free bag? I was like, yep. So then I got two of those. So I can take those with me when I go to the grocery store. But that's what we doing now? Y'all just take bags out and don't tell nobody nothing? Like, because I missed that memo. I did. <laughs> so just a heads up I don't know how many of y'all be making market but bring you some bags here yeah? they charge them and they ain't even got the, the plastic bags no more I know in Giant at anyway by where I live they don't so just a FYI But yeah, I was just like, what? So I got my reusable bag, so now when I go, I wonder if Walmart doing that. Mm. That's going to be tragic if they are. <laughs> like everybody know we going to Walmart. You ain't buying nothing that's going to fit in a little bag. You want to go in there and buy stuff that's going to fit in a little bag, but it don't work out that way. You know? Or is that just me? Is that just me? I be having twenty dollars, and somehow in Walmart that twenty stretched to one hundred and thirteen dollars, and I just be trying to figure out like, first of all, where did the other eighty three dollars come from, or ninety three dollars? Like, what? I had twenty. <laughs> I had twenty dollars. Yo, Walmart is not the place that I need to be going. It's always that way. Every time I go in, I'm like, I just got to get one thing. That one thing turned into like a hundred things. Oh, my bread is mushy right here. I don't like that. I'm going to have to tear that piece off. I don't like when it's mushy. You see? It's like wet. Nah. Mm -mm. It's probably from all the stuff I got on here. But so what? I don't like mushy bread. Sorry. I don't. Mm. Mm hmm. I know it's from all something out here, but. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like when my bread is overly moist. Like, mm mm. Mm mm. It's the same way. <laughs> Like on your plate of food, let's say you got some greens, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, whatever meat you eat, 
cornbread. And that green juice just so happened to travel and soak that bottom corner of your cornbread. You know you don't like that. <laughs> no. I don't either. Mm -mm. There's something really unsettling about mushy bread to me. Uh, can't get jiggy with that. <laughs> Cannot get jiggy with it. Okay? So. Woo! Y'all. I'm actually getting full. I think I can probably take out the rest of this burger. I might get the rest of this fries for my kids, though. I'm getting full. Oh, these burgers was really good. Like, what? But y'all, now I done. I'm like, this is the only time I eat. Like, being on this schedule, this is the only time I actually eat, like, a huge meal. Other than that, maybe some sunflower seeds or something. Like, if I start to feel, because it's like, this is right now, it's like 11 in the morning. So, this is the time I usually film. And this is the time I eat. But by 8 o'clock tonight, I'll be a little hungry. But I usually just keep drinking water throughout the day. Kind of keeps me with that full feeling. But, yeah, y'all. It's one meal a day. So. Because I'm like, I can't imagine eating this much food and then trying to eat again later. Even though if I might be hungry, but not like a whole meal. Mm -mm. But I like to keep stuff like sunflower seeds or like. Some type of like little uh, peanuts or some type of nut type of mixture. Almonds or something like that. Just because that gives you like a full feeling when you eat like a, you know, a, a good amount of those or whatever. So. Mm. Mm. This burger is better than anything I got from any restaurant. Okay? It really is. Like. But how y'all been liking my little scarf style? I've been looking at certain videos to try to give me ideas. I just came up with this one on my own. Like. <laughs> I've been trying to do different little things or whatever. But I was like, well, I can have some locks hanging. You know. So let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> Gotta hurry up because all my bread getting mushy. I don't like that. Yeah, see, this egg is cooked. Y'all see that egg is more cooked. So that's why when I went to go press, <laughs> ain't nothing happened. Mmm. <sighs> mmm. Mmm. That is a whole mess. You hear me? A little pop of the pop um, jalapeno slices though. I like that. They just kind of sneak up on you. Just for a second, I forgot I had them on there. And then I hit, I bit one like, oh yeah. It is some jalapenos up on the sandwich. Y'all, this is delicious. And I have a, um, the McCormick, um, uh, hamburger seasoning. If I gave you this burger and you a meat eater, you would not know this was plant-based. For facts, like, you would not know. I'm telling you the truth. But I'm going to put the picture up here of the type of burgers that I use. Should be right there. Uh. And this particular brand is like really good. I like it. <clears throat> and they make like different varieties. So I think this one is like the All-American 
uh, burger, but I think they make like uh, I want to say like a black bean one. Um, maybe like a like a real veggie one, like 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 actual veggies in it, like carrots or rice or whatever, actually in it. Mm. Mm-hmm. I needed this. No, I wanted this. I wanted this. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, this is just so good. Like, you know, when you're thinking about something you're gonna eat or do or whatever, and then you execute, and it'd be better than you anticipated. Mm. It's like finding gold. <laughs> it really is, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. And these ones, I feel like they're the, the burger patty itself is like bigger. It's like a quarter pounder type one, I think. Mm. Mm-hmm. These little fries are really crispy. They say that too. But they almost look like they're breaded with something, but what if they good? And I took them high out the grease and tossed them in a little seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very delicious. It's the Orida brand. I know the red bag. And these were the crinkle cut, extra crispy ones. Just in case if anybody wants to know. <sighs> I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. I got one quick question before I do get out of here, y'all. Did anybody, any of you out there suffer with Charlie horses? Oh my gosh, I suffer with those. And I don't say suffer with them, but I get them often, right? In my legs, and they are the worst thing ever. And I eat bananas, and if they eat bananas, um, I know my doctor told me to try walnuts or tart cherry juice. And I'm like, I eat walnuts. Now, the tart cherry juice never tried that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. But what in the mustard thing? That don't do nothing. I tried that too. I'm just like, what can I do? Oh, this bottom bun is about done, so it's so mushy. To, um, I don't know, to do better. Like, to not have this be a thing, y'all. Because in the middle of the night, oh, my God. That thing will kick in. And I was being there suffering like, oh. Mm. Even when I went to the doctor. Lady had me up on the thing. Ready to do me a, a um, pap smear check. Quarter Charlie horse. Hopped up so fast. Like, what? Mm-mm. I mean, that's what she was telling me about the, the tart cherry juice and all that. I'm like, ma'am, I suffer with these things like all the time. And I was just asking me, like, if you guys know a different remedy or any type of help, comment that thing down below here. Because your girl be, what? Suffering or not. But, y'all yeah, about to get out of here. This meal was everything I wanted it to be today. Like, it really was. 
And then some. I mean, I saw my little mushy bread, but everything was amazing about those burgers. So, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. I love you guys. Um, like I said, we at 3K. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll be at 5K. Hopefully, my channel will be fully monetized at the end of the year, y'all. That is the goal. So, if you made it to the end of this video with me, I want you to drop me a french fry emoji and a burger emoji. Just so that way I know it's true. <laughs> But until next time I see you guys, make sure you're doing what I always ask you to do. Take care of yourself. Take care of that body. Take care of your mind. Take care of your heart. Take care of your soul. Got to take care of you. Okay? So until next time I see y'all, 